reflux symptoms can be pretty varied. Uh, the obvious one is I have a burning sensation that starts at the top of my um, abdomen and kind of comes up into my chest. Especially worse if I eat something uh, fatty or high in spices, those types of things. Uh, alcohol tends to make it worse. So those are the most common symptoms of that. The variations on that can be I don't really have much in the way of symptoms until I lay down at night and then I wake up with acid in my mouth or sometimes I wake up with some food in my mouth. Uh, I can wake up coughing or choking. Some people wake up and they have sore throats or hoarseness in the morning. That's usually a sign that some of the acid's actually going down in the lungs. You can get acid on the vocal cords. I've even had people come in that have chronic sinus drainage and think they have you know, asthma or allergies, and sometimes that's a sign of acid going up in the back of the throat at night as well. Well, any of the symptoms that I've talked about would be a good place to start. Go in and tell your physician that I may have reflux, I'm having these issues, what do you think? And if they have that, well then medical management might be appropriate to begin with. And if symptoms persist, then a surgical consultation would be appropriate to talk about options. If you think you have symptoms and have never been diagnosed, then a good place to start is at the family doctor. If you have a family doctor or an internist, um, tell them the symptoms, let them look into it, and try a medication and see if it's, if it's a temporary thing that goes away, well then that's fine. Uh, if you have persistent symptoms, it's okay to see a gastroenterologist. They commonly will diagnose it with an endoscopy and may treat you as well. If you have persistent symptoms beyond that, then a general surgeon usually is the person that you would see for a surgical treatment of this, and uh, specifically a general surgeon that's had training in TIF if that's the procedure that you're interested in. Uh, TIF again stands for a transoral incisionless fundoplication. Well, there's complications from taking medication indefinitely, and they do add up and they do have some negative problems that, that show from that. The surgical procedure, although not risk-free, is pretty low risk, and it cures the problem. So you can live indefinitely on acid-blocking pills, worrying about when you're going to miss your next pill and whether you can eat too late or, or so forth, or you could have the surgical procedure done and go along and have problem be absent. In other words, it gets you back to a, uh, a normal state where you don't have to be on chronic medication and improves your quality of life.